Okie dokie, gamers of the galaxy. Hooey. Oh god. I have like a really visceral reaction to that fucking music sting every time. Ah, look at all the cuties. Why is Holden facing the wrong way? Then he busts down the door to another classroom. Finally, the computer lab. Talk about Fist Time's charm. Control. <laughs> what is going on? Now all I've got to do is find Juvie, Holden, and Gigi without anyone noticing that I'm a loser. Juvie kicks a wheelchair under Minnie and spins her incriminating eyes away from the rest of the class. Oh, I see. Uh, what's this? Another cool kid, fashionably late. Dextra squints at the back of Minnie's knitted cat hat. What should I say? Unfashionably late. I remember the voice I was doing for these now. Uh, cool kids can be fashionable. Just look at Holden. Holden, also facing away from the rest of the class, holds his hands up in protest. I mean, just look at your fucking mom. Mother. What heresy? Mother Rhyme is the most fashionable god to grace Chillhaven. Even Gucci God could not compare. <laughs> yeah, Julie. Crime aside, you can't deny she looks good while committing them. Finally, a cool kid with taste. Carry on with your computer illiteracy assignments while facing the back wall, as apparently some cool kids are wont to do. <laughs> oh my god, look at these cuties! Wow! <gasps> Look at these cute computer monitors. Oh my god, I miss this fucking aesthetic so bad. Ooh, the internet. As a god, it was so hard to make time just to waste on what make time just to waste time online. Now the only thing I'm procrastinating is Cody's rescue. Minnie thinks thoughtfully about her brother who seemingly hated her for so much. So much that he sacrificed his corporeal form just to escape her. I guess a quick mind-numbing browsing session couldn't hurt. Minnie scrolls through hashtag cats of hella city. Oh, fuck yeah. Ha, ah, chonky. Pretty sure that's a rat. What is that cat doing to those dogs? Ha, <laughs> green cat behavior. What is that? <gasps> oh my god, the scrunkle. Minnie sees Cody shares her sentiment of lol green, green cat behavior. I don't know if cats can eat melons. All I know is there's nothing I can do about it. Green cat behavior. Cody, aren't you stuck in the void? The fuck else am I supposed to do? <laughs> Brilliant. She shuts the computer down and gets back to work. What about these computers? Minnie peeks at the rows of computers in front of her. The front row is fighting for their lives in the online shoot 'em up brawl of duty. Second row, Gigi aside, is messaging each other their deepest, darkest secrets. Meanwhile, in the back row, Juvie's just opened up their goddle search history, where the first result is, why won't many respect internet privacy? She looks up at Juvie, who's already staring at her, shaking their head. Uh, since when did you care about internet privacy? Since I agreed to help sink Chillhaven and save Cody. Look, if you focus on the plan, I'll let you snoop through my browsing history. How about I focus on the plan and you don't show me your browsing history? <laughs> I want to click the, the boom box. Shit. The board sees, see a loser, control, alt, delete. Oh, I see. Looks like class 2C is working through the last chapter of the computer literacy text. Internet Exploiter, Handling Losers Online. Yikes, this is definitely not a lesson for someone like me. I'm practically already an expert on all the awful things you could do to a loser. It's a cart covered in computer lab equipment, and not just any, the cool stuff. Video game controllers, HDMI wires, expired tech warranties... Okay, well, maybe not that cool. I guess even Ryan would have trouble organizing a second domain. Wow, what a fucking slacker. A helpful poster on computer literacy. 
Before you talk to losers online, think. T. Troll them into a state of frustration. H. Hurt them using words, images, and dangerous links. I. Invalidate their feelings by staying calm. N. Negate your wrongdoings by saying it was just a joke, bro. K. Kill! Bacteria by washing your hands with soap and warm water for 20 seconds. Oh, well, at least it's not all bad advice. Ha. <laughs> Sheesh. Yeah, it's the first roommates, now classmates. Crazy, huh? I know, right? And I thought Cody would be one. I thought Cody would be the one sitting here, but seeing as how he's up in space, we may as well become best friends too. I can't help but feel like we're third wheeling someone, though. Huh? I told you I'm over it. Oh, not you. I already know you're over. <coughs> Holden dials Cody's number. Yeah, birds are weenies, but like, you shouldn't throw rocks at weenies, you know, what they say? If you can't do anything nice, don't do anything at all. Hey, Cody, how are you holding up out there, huh? What in the fresh produce aisle? Damn, Holden, if you're gonna biff a perfectly good dream, could you at least do it without the Holden pun? I will hold back. Anyway, I just thought I'd include you in the plan. Do you have any idea how to reach Gigi in the game she's playing? Oh, well, if you were a best bro like me, you'd know she's been playing Underwatch 2004. Cody checks his phone. 30 hours? I thought I was stuck in the void. It's not possible that she's in a literal coma, is it? No, I think it's just some retro point and click match three PvP platform. I'm gonna barf. <laughs> PvP platformer with AR functionality that lets you play while doing boring IRL crap. And that means? Hell if I know, dude. Just pop in and chatter up. Huh. As long as we don't have to fight strangers online, I'm game. Get it? Bruh, Underwatch 2000's one of the most violent, high-conflict games known to humankind. Well, I'd better find Gigi. See you in a gif, Cody. Wild. Well, that just reminded me, though, to look at my things. It's mini or sratty school bag and cheap toy phone. Actually, I have upgraded to cheap real phone in a toy case courtesy of Juvie's Drunk Drawer. Nice. Rhyme's left hand puppet, Dextra. I mean, her right hand puppet, Sinistra? No, I thought that was Dextra. Ah, fuck, I can't keep track of them all. All I know is they're a real stickler, just like her. I miss my hall monitors. R.I.P. I just love giving puppets tiny furniture. It's so silly and cute, and they can't even use them. Least of all things at this school, Rhyme kept that. Maybe some of my d ideas are good enough for her. Aww. When he leans over Juvie to see what they're up to, they lean away. I knew it! You're so mad at me for staying over at Holden's place. Oh, what? This ain't about that. You can stay wherever you fucking want. Julia, if we're gonna break out of this stupid cool kid loser nonsense, I need you to be honest. Look, I'm working on it, okay? If you want to be average so bad, just hang out with Holden or Peggy or whoever. But I want to hang out with you. Minnie flashes Julia her kitty cat eyes, which only makes them freeze up more. I'll tell you later, okay? So let's just focus on Gigi for now. Ugh, fine. Back then, if a loser was on the wrong side of the lobby, we'd just lob them back down the stairs. But now that Rhyme's in charge, I doubt she'll be so merciful. I might get fucking murdered. In retrospect, all her talk about dropping defunct pianos on unsuspecting losers sounded a little too genuine. Thought they were just haha funny juvie-esque jokes, but um, in hindsight, I really should have seen her villain arc from a mile away. That's hindsight for ya. Better keep a low profile until we can get Gigi over to the gray side. Okay, Gigi, here we go. 
That's her, right? Half gamer, half girl? Jimmy waves their hand in front of GBG's face. It's no good. Body's been cold for days. We're too late. Juvie, how macabre! Her headset just isn't amplifying anything for her. She must be on another gaming binge. You mean the one she's always on? Yeah, fooling around. Exactly how does this work? Is it a, is a fist bump really all it takes? Mini fist bumps Gigi's limp hand, which instinctively twitches. She pulls away before Gigi gives into the gamer instinct to stab her neck. <laughs> uh, who, who exactly is this Gigi person? Gigi, baby, baby, baby. The name sounds kind of familiar, like that one SNSD song. Uh, you were the god of her high school. Why wouldn't she be familiar? The average fist bump won't do anything for her by herself. By itself, believe me, I tried. And there's only one way around this. We need to help decouple her from the class structure that ties identity with influence, and then she'll be free to be herself. A totally average camera girl. Well, I was going to suggest just talking to her, but that works too. Great! We just need an extra headset. There's gotta be one lying around here somewhere. Oh, like over here? Car covered in lab equipment, video game. A VR equipment box! There's gotta be a spare headset in there. Perfect. Let me grab it for us. Oh, no, 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 no. Your box didn't over there. Let me get it. It's really no trouble. A little shimmying never hurt anyone. Nonsense, bestie. You've already done so much for me. It wouldn't be fair to make you do any more. What kind of bestie would I be if I let you go alone? Gosh, well, when you're right, you're right. Oh, I got it. What if we both went up? Oops. <laughs> what a fantastic idea. <laughs> oh, I love them. I love their dynamic so much. I never realized just how fucking a great friend pair that uh, Minnie and Holden would be. What a fucking great time. Juvie turns the two around in their chairs and stands up. Excuse me, teach. I'm gonna grab a VR helmet real quick. Just wanna learn all 360 degrees of computer literacy is all. Ah, uh, be my guest. I love seeing our state-of-the-art equipment in the hands of a genuine cool kid. <laughs> Minnie and Holden remember how cool they aren't. Uh -huh. Th thanks, Juvie. Sorry, we almost, uh... Juvie's long gone. You could always tell them once they're back. Maybe. How have things been between you two? Like, really been, if I may ask. It, it's perfect. <laughs> we finally got to spill our guts to each other, and it turns out that they don't secretly wish I disappeared into the ocean or been grinded up in the maw of a shark. It's true. They only mean what they say about 42% of the time. Absolutely. Everything's just like water under sticks bridge. And now here we are, BFFs again, working together to save Cody. And? And it feels different. I feel different. I mean, but good different. I really do like who I am now. It's just, what if the person who came back isn't the person they missed this whole time? What if the old me is never coming home? Are we talking shit about that juvie kid? I hate that punk. Just, just that they still sleep with a teddy bear. First off, it's a snail. Second, don't you sleep with like 10 teddy bears? No, it's one bear, a bee, a puppy, a cat, a puppy cat, two rabbits. <laughs> Sorry to hold, interrupt your uh, digging yourself into a hole, Minnie, but um, I just wanted to clarify that we weren't slandering anyone. We were just having a private, semi-emotional conversation. Private, huh? Should have expected as much. Whatever, here's the gear. Juby tosses the headset to Holden. Well, um, nothing to it but to do it. Holden dons the set. Wow. Holden is wobbling around and bumping into walls. He's looking pretty green in the face. Oh no, buddy. You know you don't actually have to move, right? Just use the damn keyboard. Uh, but what would... 
What would the point of a 3D game be if I don't take advantage of all three dimensions? These graphics are making me sick. What what does that sign say? Lair dude, if all X here, press X to live. Leave the tutorial. Oh, Jesus, he has <laughs> Dude, leave the fucking tutorial. Oh, thank heaven, another player. Hello, fellow gamer. <laughs> uh, I don't suppose you could translate that sign for... Uh, oh, this? Well, it seems they give every thousandth player an exclusive laser gun. Oh, you're fucking toast. You're dead meat. You say you want it. <laughs> well, what kind of friend would I be to say no? It's not like a phone. It's not like I need a laser gun to find Gigi anyway. Oh, uh, you know a Gigi. How convenient. So you'll point me her way so long as I click accept here, trade here, enter my full name here, date of birth, social security. No Dewey tears off Holden's headset. Hey, I was getting somewhere. Get in the fucking scam town. Let me handle this. Chewie takes over Holden's character and begins searching the interface. Sweet, there's a character ID lookup. Pretty sure her handle's Game Girl. Game Girl. They find her location and begin walking. Weird, what's she doing hanging out so close to the tutorial? Chewie suddenly stopped by another player. Hell, you calling a freak? Gray, blue, whatever. Mind your damn business. At least I didn't drag my head out of my own ass just to skid mark a fucking dollar store headset. This game's got enough postnatal trash, so do us a favor and delete your account. Oh my god, Julie, that's so mean. <laughs> they started it. What? Daddy, my mom, not that you know, but your barnyard DNA couldn't tell a mom from a deadbeat dad's third cousin, you fucking inbred troll. Joey, stop! I can't, the anonymity is taking over me. Alright, kid, get out of here. You wanna fight someone? Fight in a fucking PvP zone. What do you mean the entire game's a PvP zone? <laughs> Juvie died. Oh, PvP must stand for completely violent place. <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm crying. Completely? <laughs> you know, short for completely. They love ruining... Oh, wait, that's Cody's voice. You know, short for completely. They love ruining language online. Yep. Oh, I understand completely. Juvie tears off the headset. Get this stupid game away from me before I break it. Oh, oh, let me play. I love games. Mini Juvie tosses Minnie the headset. Lasers ripple across the glass, scanning for the eyes of its next victim. Without any more hesitation, she dons the headset. <gasps> oh, sick. Oh, my fucking God. Hell yeah. Oh, my goodness. Minnie opens her neon green eyes to find flying saucers, pixelated aliens, buildings made of neon lights, and a frenzy of lasers sounding off in the distance. Wow! Is this a game or the inside of a pinball machine? It's gonna take days to find Gigi. Oh, like hell it will. Last I checked, she was upstairs. Stairs? Which stairs? What's up? Uh, not much. What's up with you? Oh, shut up! Oh, hey. Oh my god, who the fuck is this? Oh, new player already? Good time and me hungry. Ah! Nah, chill out. I ain't gonna bite. How about I prove it to ya? A friend request from Killbit pops up on Minnie's hood. Um, no thanks. Is it my fucking fault for that? Without hesitation, Minnie clicks decline. Oh. Shucks, she actually saw through it. Oh my god, there's so many people here. What the fuck? It appears you're in need of a new scheme, Kay. This thing, she thinks she's too good for me. I don't. 
Hey, I'm talking here. You really gonna crush my spirit and then yammer all over me? Oh, screw you, I dodged a bullet when you think about it. Too bad I can't say the same for you. Killbit clips a stolen laser gun through Minnie's head as her companions gawk in amusement. Game go! Ah! <laughs> cool kids stop confused and gaze upwards. Oh, shit. There they find Game Girl, sitting atop an icy throne. Hey, I see you there. Lend a hand, preferably in the form of a fist bump. Recognition flashes across her face as she locks eyes with Minnie. She turns on her headset and quickly motions for Minnie to leave. Hey! I've never seen it. I've never seen Cuts give a loser that look before. Strange coincidence that two imbeciles sought her out today. Who cares? All that matters is Gigi thinks this loser is especially lame. Gilbert punches her face together, which calls for some special treatment. Ain't no part of this game that'll be safe for a loser like you. Oh, fuck. The cool kid snickers. They slink beyond the ranger distance, plotting their next move. Oh, talking to Gigi won't be a piece of virtual cake I hoped it'd be. Better keep on high alert in here. What happens if I click this? Minnie peeks out from under her headset to talk to Juvie. What was that about? I thought your new friends were cool. And by cool, I mean, I mean not total assholes. I swear, Gigi's the good one. Even better than you? Better than all of us. She cares about her friends so much it kills her. Or at least I thought so. Well, she didn't seem that nice to me, but maybe it's just easier for cool kids not to notice. Are you kidding me? She hung out with the biggest loser at CHS and didn't even flinch. Well, I mean, except for the major malfunction at the mall. Wait, didn't she freak out at Holden's too? Sounds like a pattern to me. I I'm telling you, there's no way she's anything like these punks. Oh. Oh, so cute. Just look at this dork and tell me that she's capable of assholery. A photo of Gigi's dorky 13th birthday party. Her cake candle is lighting her party horn on fire. <laughs> I know plenty of assholes that accidentally commit arson. Oh shit, this reminds me. Ain't her birthday this Friday? She's your friend, not mine. But maybe that'll change if she plays her cards right. That balloon was so, so cute. Um, Pong? Let's- Oh, just kidding. It's Ping! I used to be Cody all the time until Chima started sabotaging my controller. Good thing she's not here. Now I just need a trustworthy- I mean, a worthy opponent. No need for trust. Oh, shit! Did someone say? On second thought, I just remembered the world depends on me reaching Game Girl, so bye! Uh, sure. Why wouldn't you want to hang out with her? She's a top tier gamer. I don't know why I even try. They look pretty sad for themselves. When... I mean, we just have to play the game. Right? I don't want to go easy on you. Because that's rude. You asked for it. Minnie serves the first shot. Dot manages to keep up. Take that. What you doing now? Playing a game. The ball flies with epic precision, faster and faster. <laughs> You're pretty good for a rotten loot. I mean, what's going on in the game? Jimmy, can't you bother holding? I'm trying to concentrate. He's asleep, trying to learn in computer literacy, and the sheer toxicity of the curriculum knocked him out cold. <laughs> the ball is so fast that it's just a white line on the screen. Shoot, wait, where? Oh, man, this is getting a bit... That's so like him. Didn't he have Luna's this morning? Hell if I know. You're the one living with him. That was a rhetorical question. The answer was obviously yes and also obviously not enough. Whatever. I'm bored. Don't you need a guy in the chair? Not necessarily. I'm playing ping. Ping? I hope whoever you're serving against has life insurance. The ball finally ricochets off Minnie's paddle and into the void, winning her the game. From a loser? No, no, no. No one can know. Ugh. I'll show you. Next time the ball will be in my court. 
and not in a losing way. Dot 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 slinks back into the shadows. We did it. Do we have to play tic-tac-toe also? <gasps> Look at the little space invaders. Oh, look at this little guy. It's mission or not. You should always stop to pet the alien. The aliens gomp on him in his legs and bear their pincers. Ah! Oh, fuck. Yeah, rip and tear. Let them feed. Someone has to feed these poor little suckers. Meaning lets the critters pick her apart pixel by pixel. But nothing happens. Looks like it's just a harmless animation. Ugh, if, if you don't crush her, I will. The aliens swarm kill bit, who responds with futile kickboxing. Oh, you're punching in. Guess that's my cue to punch out. Get fucking wrecked, dweeb. Can't have a point and click adventure game without a cursor. Maybe I could use it to reach Gigi. Oh. I thought you were going to be the one I was playing tic-tac-toe with. Thorn peeks out from behind a building, eyeing the cursor. He sees Minnie and begins winding up, preparing to sprint. Oh. Click it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Minnie stands her ground and clicks the cursor a million times. Flavor text pops, pops up. It says, display model only. Huh? It doesn't even do anything. Wretched cursor, take thy pointer from out from my heart and take thy form from off my screen. The wretched thing was to shepherd you into the abyss, but I should have known better than to trust a name adorned in curses. No matter, I won't be foiled again. Thornblaze Draconia slithers back into the shadows. That one's kind of weird. Weirdly familiar. Wait a fucking minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hmm. No thanks. Only babies like tic tac toe. Uh, oh, yay. My favorite game. Wait, what are you doing here? Unless you want to play another game with me. Makes sense. Not like Thorn or Kay are much competition compared to me. The only person I can't beat is my older cousin, Gigi, but that's nothing a little practice won't fix. So make your move, player. Oh. Win the game. Minnie realizes she can win, provided dot 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 royally screws up next turn. She marks down an O and watches them ponder their next move. For a very, very long time. Oh my fucking god. It's not that complicated. Honk shoo, honk shoo. Uh, did you seriously just fall asleep? No, I just closed my eyes for dramatic effect. Could you hurry it up? Then take this. You've ticked your last toe. Minnie sees they've royally screwed up. She marks down another O, winning the game. What? Th there's no way Player X could lose. They're the triple T master. Unless, I'm not technically Player X. Oh, what? Da 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 spins the window around to reveal the text. Player X, game girl, loser. Player O, da da da, winner. Hey, what the shit? This was supposed to be between you and Gigi. You can't just use the player mix up to steal my win, cheater. So you're not just a loser, but a sore loser, too. At least when I show Gigi, she'll admit defeat with a chillness befitting a cool kid. A chillness I'm sure you've never known. You know, having never experienced being a cool kid, god, or anything else. Actually, Dot 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 drags the game window upstairs to gloat about Gigi's so called defeat. Something about them is really annoyingly familiar. Really? I can't place it. Eh. Door reads, press X to leave the tutorial. <laughs> Stay here. Tempting, where I've got unfinished business. Hmm. Oh, a UFO. Could get me past those goons. Fly me to the moon. Play a space tune. Oh, fuck. Did someone say high noon? Ah! Minnie dodges Kilbit's laser gun and dashes up the side of a building. She leaps onto the UFO. Her momentum sends it veering. Aim. Minnie leans to one side, aiming the ship at Kilbit. Get probed, jerkwad! <laughs> Kilbit grabs the ship. 
Oh, fuck. No, all of my points is... No, I can't. I can't lose all of them. I had so many. We, we can't do this. I refuse. I thought that maybe I could gain back the one that I lost, but um, it didn't work out. And he begins the long trek upstairs, but halts when she hears voices. Where the hell is she? Perhaps she learned her lesson and finally deleted her account. At last, tranquility will grace her dear Gigi. Though strange that several of these simpletons have happened upon her today. It's not that strange. I hate to see it, but I figured she's soft. she'd soften up since she moved. Don't. She's the good one, so shut it. That dweeb wins if we turn on each other. She's around here somewhere. I can almost smell her. Have I neglected a smell of vision mod, or was that an attempt at poetry? If so, perhaps such things would be better left to the literate. Many sneakers from under the stairs. Why smell when you can hear? She's over there. Ah! Minnie dashes away across pavement, under palm fronds, and over buildings until she's finally escaped them for now. Why does this always happen to me? If I'm gonna reach Gigi, I better avoid her friends like the plague. Hmm, in spite of everything, this outfit's pretty cute. What are you blind? Sure, it kind of screams loser from a mile away. I don't mean a gal- you mean a galaxy away. But at least I like it! <laughs> she would. Well, uh, I think you look great, Minnie. You can't even see me! <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Leave the friggin' tutorial. Exactly what I needed. He mashes the butt nicks. It does nothing. Wait! Excuse me? <laughs> gotcha. Wail and lament, loser. Press X to leave the tutorial was simply a misnomer we've christened upon this room. That's correct. There's no actual way to escape. I mean, he runs into a chat room and locks it. Except in there. Oh! You didn't lock it! Why would a game let you lock a chat room from the outside? Theatrics. How's this for theatrics? Kilbit begins kicking the door. Mm, leave me alone! Ugh, don't you have anything better to do? Oh, fuck. Bang, bang, bang. Obviously not. I bet you're just here because the real world hates you. What? And rightfully so. You're wasting your already worthless lives over me? Hmm. Cool kids are totally unreceptive. Oh my god. This is our life now. Minnie closes her eyes and covers her ears to escape the incessant banging before remembering this is a video game that she can totally quit at any time. But before she does, she meets the game and listens to the faint sounds of a distant memory instead. Oh no. A cool kid kicks at the stall door for fun. Dottie, my legs are getting tired. How, to, how long till the cat's over? 58 minutes until she and that rhyme kid fail. Finally, the Akata at the other side academy shall regret ever forsaking you, Gigi. That'll show that bastard, but our dog of a god was just too afraid of that rhyme kid's family to pick a better candidate. It ain't fair. The cool kid throws another cool kick at the door. Call it K. I don't mind the wait. The gods have more important things to do than set up a fair game. And evidently I'm too cool to play a fair game. Just wait, in a few years it'll be me ascending. Gigi kicks the stall too for good measure. <laughs> Next year? Jeez, you really gotta wait that long? How long has it even been now? Well, now it's been about 57 minutes until... Dottie stops as they check the time on their phone. What? <laughs> oh my god, so what in hell did she just post on the school's forums? Mm -hmm. Another phone rings. What? A new slash, the one micturated his britches only to dredge up the mess using home ec tea towels? Is that even a real word, micturated? Hold, hold on. Hold on. 
micturate. Wow, that is a real word. When the fuck was this word made? 800 years ago? That's crazy. I've never heard that in my whole life. <laughs> is that the best our god candidate could come up with? Another phone pings. K wanted for falling mouth first in a cow patties and liking it. I'll kill her. Another ping. Oh no. What the hell? Why would she say that about me? I would never. I'm not like that. No, I'll never be able to show my face here again. Oh, GG, is it really that bad? Okay, that's pretty bad. Oh! Okay, kicks down the bathroom exit. Oh, wait. Okay, storms out only to be met with a comedy rim shot and laughter from the surrounding students. Oh, great. This At this rate, we'll be run out of here by the end of middle school. I'm out. This plan was a complete failure. Thanks a lot, cuz. Dottie dashes out after. What the hell if you rot, Gigi? Thorn follows the others quietly. No, I I'm doing what the gods wanted. I'm doing everything right. Why is this happening to me? Minnie hears footsteps, this time not leaving, but entering. Oh, you're still here. Perhaps I should make another post then. Wait, look, I'm sorry, okay? What's wrong with a bit of low stakes competition between cool kids? You you should be used to this by now. Give me my candidate. Fine, you can have her if you tell everyone the posts are fake. At least for my friends. Please, this wasn't their idea. Oh, so it was all yours. Yes. Noted. Rhyme taps on the bathroom stall door. Minnie, it's time. Minnie reaches up to unlock the door and walks into the bright light of her new reality. Minnie, come on! I know you have maladaptive daydreaming, but class is about to end. No! Minnie tears off her VR set in a panic. She beams at her computer with determination and types at the speed of light. With absolute precision and clarity of mind, her fingers glide across the keyboard. This is what we're using our power for this episode. Her fingers glide across the keyboard, forming the perfect words to undo the crimes done in her name. There's something electrifying about Minnie's eloquent reverse hit piece. But I wouldn't get to kick something in real life. Cool kids reach the top of the stairs where Gigi awaits them. Hey, Gigi, what the hell have you been doing while we've been playing the game? That was playing. Don't give me that! You gotta come back around sometime! Contending with losers never did me any good. What's the point? The point is that losers are the worst! Why is that my problem? Ah, uh, You're a cool kid! Start acting like one! Thorn and Dot sigh and anxiously check their phones. Mm -hmm. Time has escaped us. We'd better head back to school. Someone just posted on the school's forums. Oh, this better be good. Six years ago, God candidate Rhyme Ortega framed four cool kids for pants pissing, cow, cow patty eating, and other atrocious misdeeds in order to ensure her ascension. In reality, the victims of this slander were no such criminals. They were assholes, sure, but everything else you've heard? Lies. Other side academy ran them out in a totally lame display of infighting. If you're a real one, write this wrong by dropping a like and showing them cool kids stand strong. For a certain cool kid, pop punk symphonist Allegra puts it best. You aren't a shame girl. You're not to blame girl. You're just stuck living in a game girl. And technically so am I. Here's our permission to be more than that. Signed, Anonymous. Anonymous. Fuck. Five and a half likes. A half? Well, at least they got good taste in music. Mini. I thought that loser looked familiar. It can't be true. All along the subject of the day's torments was... Other side's cool kid candidate? 
is still a loser? <laughs> the plan worked. She did fail the cat. I bet the only reason the gods didn't turn around and give Gigi god candidacy was because that psycho rhyme convinced everyone who had a thing for cross-dressing. Wait, like loser cross-dressing? Is that what the green signifies? Interesting. But hey, now you've got a chance. Put a spin on it. Scorned cool kid ascends in spite of it all. Sure, your new school already picked a candidate, but who says we can't swirly his loser until he misses the deadline? God's no cool kid like you deserves it more than... <laughs> what do you say the new candidate was? Some stupid 70s roller skater boy? Shut up. Oh, so she does speak. Don't make me make don't make me make the same mistakes again. So what? Your shitty decisions are somehow my fault? I'm I mean a little. You make it so hard to be good. All of you do. You're all assholes, not just to losers, but even to your own friends. Well, hopefully especially losers, but go off. I'm trying to be better. I stuck with you because I cared about you and I hated that my stupid plan got you all hurt. But you're all so intent on making losers pay that I- I just- I'm just so afraid of losing everyone. GG malfunctions. Great, here we go again. It's your own damn fault whenever you bug out. Uh, I don't know what to do, but not doing anything is really making my stomach hurt. What am I to make of my preconceptions when that loser of all people defended us? And you think we owe that dweeb, but not like I told her to stick up for us. I just don't know what kind of a cool kid I'll be if I'm not mean to losers. Then if we forgo our debt of kindness to her, perhaps that kindness ought to be spent on one another. Kindness? If you're a real cool kid, you don't need that shit. Come on, Gigi, tell him. We don't need no suck-ups. Mm -hmm. Gigi logs off. There goes our last suck-up. No, this is so obviously written by a loser. And a poem. Oh, God, what was I thinking? I told you, it's fine. Look, it's even got a few likes. And he leans over to see that Gigi. Juvi has the post open on their phone. And just how many of those were yours? Gigi finally takes her helmet off. Ah! Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I don't know what I was thinking with that post. You're a cool kid. You don't need my permission to do a thing. Gigi tries to speak, but Juvie's disappointed expression chokes her up. She takes a deep breath, snapping out of her fritz enough to accept the ire of yet another friend. I'm the one who should be saying sorry. I hurt you once and I let you get hurt again, so I just, just so I wouldn't have to face my lousy friends. Could have said something, anything, but I uh, have a problem. The past feels like it won't let me go, but I, I was the, only, I was always the one holding on. <laughs> I hated who I was so much, but I, I want to be better than that. I want to change. So, thanks for letting me. Gigi holds her hand out for a fist bump. Uh, did someone say my name? Goodness, I must have been tired. Computer illiteracy sure can't take it out of you. Oh, nice to see you too, Gigi. As their hands make contact, Gigi's eyes oscillate through colors at such a high frequency that they meld into one single calming tone. Something totally notch electrifying about their friend Delicious fist bump. <gasps> oh my god, this outfit is so cute! It's like a little toga p shirt! Hmm, I, I guess that works too. Hold on! What was I heart to hearting for if I couldn't be the one to. You know what, just forget it. At least this way, Juvie and I can average out together. Put her there, partner! Minnie holds her hand out for a fist bump. Uh, what's that? My favorite nerd's calling? They probably got Daniel. Better check up on him before they explode from the shock of change. Gotta go see you, bye! 
the nerds, in fact, did not get Daniel. <laughs> a certain cool kid drifts peacefully in a sea of ink. Until he's suddenly awoken by blood-curdling screams. Oh, man, it sucks here, but I didn't think it was that bad. The screaming continues. He perks up at the mention of a familiar name. Brian, please, you don't know what you're doing. Y'all burn yourself, the entire city even. We won't be cool enough to save everyone. Wait, that's not Melody, that's Harmony. <laughs> Shit, fuck. Uh, you'll ruin yourself, the entire city even. We won't be cool enough to save everyone. Prime is silent on her way in as she is on her way out, replies with the sound of a closing portal. She's gone. I'm all alone? Yawn! Oh, uh, hey, you finally made it. Melody, is this where you've been? Glad to see you managed to stay awake. Let me tell you, it ain't easy staying up in a boring old library for... Uh, how many days have I been in here? You've been missing for a little over 24 hours. Only 24 hours?! Prep school wasn't kidding about the void being a total time sink. Whatever, we're here until Rhyme either comes to her senses or blows up whatever poor sap crossed her. May as well have a nap. Harmony sighs. You're right. There's no escaping the Banch Aquarium. It's up to Father to stop her now. At least we'll still have each other. Honk shoo. Honk shoo. Oh, Melody. <laughs> the Bant Aquarium falls into silence. Cody's eyes too fall shut. Fuck! Look at that cute ass balloon. I love it. Look at that little scronkle. Shit! Another one. <laughs> Another picture missed. You know, it wouldn't be right if I didn't miss one. You know, we've got to miss one now. I've made a tradition of it. Unless they give me real easy handout ones. Oh man.